I was pretty much looking forward to Morbius because it's Morbius, it's Jared Leto, it's a Spider-Man universe movie, but is it? <laughs> no. yeah. So I was I was excited for that, and the trailer I thought was pretty good, so I was looking forward to that. I mean, I am looking forward to that still, but the reviews have come out, early reactions, and they are not very good. They have, m most people have trashed this movie a lot and they they said that nobody complained about his acting nobody complained about the story being bad but most complaints were about superficial stuff um i would say at least from what i've read um they were complaining about this movie didn't know what universe it was in or which spider-man was going to be in this or you know, um, stuff like there were so many Spider-Man connections that were cut out from the movie that we saw in the trailers, which is actually the main disappointment for me. Um, and there's also another thing that says the VFX aren't that good. So I, from the trailer, it looked like this movie was made in the, you know, early um, 2000s or something like that because of the vibe that i was getting from this universe i don't know if that makes sense but it kind of is like an older version of the venom movie somewhat older version of the venom movie like iron man 1 for example kind of looks similar to this tone but um yeah i i felt like uh you know <laughs> i felt so disappointed hearing all this and especially because um they said that they cut out so much stuff because i was actually looking forward to that because you know I wanted this to be in Andrew Garfield's universe because yeah. he can come back and uh, there's also Venom so he he could you know also show up but in the trailer we saw Tobey Maguire's <laughs> Spider-Man on a wall we saw Oscorp from from <laughs> the Amazing Spider-Man movies and some other things in the newspaper the Daily Bugle logo and all that and then we saw um, a Venom joke so that's clearly Tom Hardy's Venom and also we saw um, Michael Keaton's character and also the, and there was Black Cat Rhino as well yes yes and those two so I don't know man I don't know why they they would cut that out um, and I would be pretty dis disappointed if they actually do cut it out uh, maybe they just cut it out from the early re uh, early screenings or whatever, but I doubt it because it's so close. But again, one theory that I heard <laughs> was Sony didn't actually like um, this movie much after it was finished and the reactions from the test screenings were not good. So maybe they didn't want Morbius in their Spider-Man universe, so they just cut him out, you know. Just one movie can come out, people can watch it, and then it can just get swept under the rug. And they can continue with their Venom movie or other, you know, other characters that are going to come. So if they think that this movie can do more harm than good, that's one reason you cut out the Spider-Man connection. But that's not confirmed. That's just one person's theory. And I, I don't know why they decided that so late because they had like two years to work on this movie and i just hope that they don't do that firstly i hope the movie is actually good <laughs> because maybe i would feel differently if it wasn't but i don't know how this movie can't be good um it's morbius it's a new character we have no expectations from this there's no preconceived you know expectations from this legendary character so <laughs> i don't know what do you think yeah it, i actually find this uh fascinating because uh the first venom got negative reviews before it came out i think it got it did get critics did bash yes. it but it made so much money and ruben fleischer who directed that directed uncharted it seems his movies like that happens with his movies a lot critics don't like them but like i find this interesting because venom 2 in my opinion, I haven't rewatched really it, but I don't think it was a great, a great movie. I thought it had moments here and there, 
uh, but it was very fast paced. Just like it was, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a sequel. It felt like in between of a sequel. Right. But like what ha- happened with that movie was it was like a prequel without being a prequel to Spider Man No Way Home, because. I think intentionally they leaked the post credit scene, which featured Tom Holland, you know, and then Venom coming into the MCU, which was big. And that helped the movie definitely, big time, word of mouth, you know, stuff like that, even though it was a post credit scene. Yep. And it was online, people wanted to see it. And that helped the movie. And I thought with the big success of Spider-Man No Way Home, and Michael Keaton saying that he's doing vulture stuff, you know, reshoots for Morbius, that they would add more stuff to it to gain more hype, especially with the movie getting delayed to April. You know, it, I, I don't know what they did because if they didn't believe the movie was like that good, well, it's not like Venom one and two are cinema, you know, it's not. They're they're, they're Venom really one good. is cinema. They're good. Yeah, well, they're good fun movies, but they're not like unbelievably great. And the two first Venom movies made a lot of money. And you have this new or this Marvel Sony character who's a villain, Spider Man villain, and there's so much potential there. Why not just shoot a quick cameo if you have bad faith in the actual movie itself? Save it with moments. Have Tom Hardy show up. That's a pretty cool moment. Word of mouth. Show a clip or something or show some way of either Toby, Andrew or Tom Spider-Man. That word of mouth gets around and it starts to build hype. It starts to build engagement around this this movie and people are very intrigued. So I go watch it and they go see the movie and say, yeah, the movie was okay. It was pretty average, but you know, it was cool. That fight scene between Morbius and whatever character, or Morbius talked to Michael Keaton, or Morbius and Tom Hardy had an exchange, or you know Andrew Garfield, it looked like his Spider-Man in that scene. We didn't get to see it fully. You know, stuff like that that helps the movie, and I'm surprised it didn't do that. Now we're not here saying that this movie needs cameos, it needs Easter eggs to be great for yeah. us to be interested. That's not that's not the point. The point is they put it in the marketing. They yeah. told us A, B, C, and D is in this movie. And it's all connected. So go check it out. And that got us excited. That's pretty cool. Because the biggest talking points around this movie, and this isn't our fault. This isn't us with pre-existing expectations. They put it in the actual trailers. Yep. They had Toby's art. They had Michael Keaton. They had Black Cat. They had Rhino. They had the Oscorp from Andrew's World. Other Easter eggs as well. So it was, it was them that did this. And now when you go and watch the movie and none of those things are in it, you're like, what? Like, wh- where, 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 what, what is this? Where's the hype? So I will be pissed off if those stuff are not in the movie because that's mm-hmm. what I was told was in the movie. And that's why I'm paying to go see the movie is because Jared Little, Morbius, new story, but also you, you set up all these these storylines. You said this was going to be in it. And now it's not. This is false advertisement. You know, It's kind yeah. of like Justice League 17 in a way, you know, telling us all this stuff is in the movie when it's not. Yeah. Now, maybe maybe for the critics, they held back. Maybe that's what they, that's what they wanted to do. But I think there's been fan screenings in London. Is that right? And uh, it was a it was a London premiere, so I'm I'm guessing some fans were at that. Yeah, but nothing's nothing's really leaked. Like nothing, it would have leaked by now. You know, the word would be out. What kind of big things in the movie? And I think the post credit scene is has leaked, but that's like I don't see any engagement being created out of that at all. And then the director coming out being very weird about it in terms of spoiling it. Now I don't know if this was a blunder from Cinema Blend or from the director. But you can go find out like <laughs> certain stuff about the movie before it comes out because the director spoiled it. I think it like... he did that on purpose to cover up the other yeah. stuff that came out. He kind of tried to generate hype again. Um, you know, the interviewer asked him that what universe, you know, this this movie is in. And he said it's in the Venom verse. Okay, we already knew that. And second thing he asked was which Spider-Man would be in this movie. And he just said, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, I haven't read yeah, the other spoilers though, so I, I'm not sure. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> it's not good. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it, it's surprising. But then again, the movie could be really good. It's just they set themselves yes. to fail because they told us all this other stuff was in it. You know, that could be a thing too. So I, I think the movie will be good. Uh, but yeah, it's going to piss off a lot of people that the stuff that they were promised is not in it. And especially after the multiverse being such a big thing in Spider-Man No Way Home, everyone wants Toby and Andrew to come back and Tom. It just seems like a missed opportunity not to put something there to say, look what we're thinking, this could happen. So yeah, I, that's... Um, I always hated see. when they do that, um, you know, not putting in a movie. That is 
that is still understandable you couldn't make it work right you already filmed these things you have the footage why cut it out what are you gonna do with that they're not gonna put that on the blu-ray because that just doesn't make sense like like the only theory that made sense to me of cutting it out was the one that i said they probably just wanted to yeah. sweep this movie under the rug <laughs> <laughs> releases but again you have a great point because even venom was trashed by critics before and there's no debating that critics are very h harsh on movies that are not in the mcu especially marvel movies that are not in the mcu so they they it's hate like the a, sony it's kind of it's kind of yeah. like, like a oh what's the word it's kind of like you're stabbing the MCU in the back if you're an if you're a Marvel movie yes. and you're not an MCU movie, you know, and the Fox movie for a while, especially yeah. when the MCU started coming and being really good. I don't care what anyone says. I think X Men Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix are not great movies, but they're still good movies, and they didn't yep. deserve the reviews that they got at all. Uh, but I think if they were in the MCU world and an entry, they would have been better received. They, they the do movie. that to bring these characters in the MCU and not yeah. let those people handle that. Like the only one that got really bad reviews was Eternals because that felt like more like a DC movie than any other <laughs> yeah. MCU movie. It felt, felt like an actual movie because they shot on location and stuff like that and it actually had an interesting directing style and story to it. So yeah, the critics are very mean, but I hope this movie can do well financially. Because I, I want to see more of these different movies. You know, like yep. Iron Man 1, Captain America 1, 2. Like th these movies are, um, they're really good. They're fantastic. But they're the same formula, formula tone. I mean, the MCU is changing it a little bit. But I used to love seeing X-Men movies, you know, Fox movies, Fantastic Four. Even though they weren't great. Because it was a different take on the characters. You know, it was a different kind of feel to it than the MCU. And I just don't want DC Marvel. I like how DC has the DCU, Joker, Batman, Doom Patrol. It has so many different universes and tones. That's cool. Marvel is starting to do it a little bit more. But I, I also like to see Sony try to do something else. Like Venom 2 is different. But I want Morbius to, to do well. I want to see Jared Leto have a comic book movie hit. And I want to. I hope the fans can carry this one over. He's doing a lot of press for it. He's doing a lot of touring for it. So hopefully that's enough to gain a <laughs> respectful uh, box office income for it, hopefully. But yeah, if it, they should have... They had time. They should have shot something to save the movie. If they had such bad fate for it, they should have shot something with one of the Spider-Mans or do something cool. Tom Hardy even. You know, get word of... Leak it. Get word of mouth out that this happens. Yeah. You have to go see it like they did with Venom 2. And also... Um you know they they had time to work on the vfx so i don't know if that's actually a legit concern but and so sony's vfx were always yeah. better than the than the mcu for me so the venom movie to... the venom movie both yeah. of them had pretty good vfx yeah. and morbius doesn't I, I don't think it takes you know more vfx work than venom and carnage <laughs> so mm. i don't know man um, look, like you, I completely agree with you. Um, the I like variety in these movies. Um, I love the MCU. Um, their movies are great. But I also want to see Fox make them or Sony make them. Now, unfortunately, Fox cannot make them anymore. They're just Marvel now. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But we still have Sony who can make these movies. And I'm still, you know, hoping for that Amazing Spider-Man 3 movie. Yeah, um. <laughs> we have Craven. We have Craven coming as well. Yes, we have Madam Web. Madam Web. So it's it. If they want to build this universe, they can't just throw Morbius under the bus and forget about that character. They have to invest. Especially because that. his powers are cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. He has to I be could, there. I, I could see this movie doing bad, but they still use Jared Leto as cameos. Yes, as solo movies. I could see something like that happen, but I think we expected bad reviews. Anyway, you know, we yeah. don't think we expected good reviews. So <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we'll see when the movie comes out, and we'll see how how bad much damage the reviews have done and also if the stuff that they promised is new because that could that could actually be bigger than the actual reviews of it yes and correct me if i'm wrong but the last movie letter was in was um the little things last year 
Well, uh, you must have missed Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, yeah. Zack Snyder's Justice yeah, yeah. League. Yeah, I think, and, the, I think those are two. Yes, those two. And then I don't think he had any other movie. And now, finally, he had Recrashed, which is amazing. You all should definitely watch oh, that. Uh, House of Gucci. Oh, yeah. House of Gucci. Sorry. I wasn't missing it on purpose, I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, House of Gucci. And then yeah. we have Recrashed, which the little things, we liked it. Um, but I don't think a lot of people like that movie. Justice League, obviously, everyone liked um the house of gucci was controversial some people like some people didn't v crash is awesome i think most people like it and now we have this so it's not like he has been having um you know very highs or very lows it was it's mixed but his yeah, most it, recent is v crash and i think people will love him in that i think his material is always good it's just he's not a box office attraction uh, yeah as much. i think he's an internet attraction I think yes. he gets engagement going. I think maybe his his he's better suited as a TV show in terms of bringing in people. Um, but in terms of the box office, it never really translated over that much. As, that much. Suicide Squad was big, but he was playing the Joker, and Dead Runner twenty forty nine didn't do well. That movie, you know, I think, so. hurt him a lot. Yeah, it, it probably well, it hurt a lot. Of people. It hurt David yes. Ayer too, you know. So yeah, it, it did. But yeah, I think um, yeah, his box office is never unbelievable anyway. So. Yeah, we'll see. Um, we we just have you know a few days to go. I think um, three days to go, right? It comes out on first. Yeah, I, I, it was, it, yeah, I was going to. Go, it's my per, birthday the next weekend. I thought I was coming out with my birthday weekend, but it's not. It's coming out sooner, so I got an early present. See, <laughs> Nice. Uh, All I'm right. Looking, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to the movie. I'm looking forward to the movie, and I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be there. Me too. Now.